OK, what we're going to look at now is making our object actually move on the screen. So the first thing we're going to do is add just another point 3D, which this time is going to be speed. And um, just for the sake of motion, uh, we're going to set it to 5 on all the different items. We're then going to create our new um, method called move. I think what it's called then for a second. And this is going to be very simple. Uh, what we're going to do is take our location object and we're going to add whatever's currently in the speed uh, for each of the x, y, and z components. So if I just copy this down uh, and then change the x's to y's and z's. Z obviously isn't really used except for um, levels of uh, what gets painted on top of what. Um, while this will work, we haven't obviously got any comments in, I'll add the comments shortly, but we want to obviously test that this works as it should do. So what we're going to do is some work on our testbed project. And what we're going to add is a timer control, which I'm then going to set to be enabled, leave the interval at 100 milliseconds, and double click on the timer one tick so that I can end up with an event handler. And we're going to do two very, very simple things. We're going to first of all move the object and then we're going to refresh the screen. To move the object, we just talk to the object, obj, and then we tell it to move. And then to refresh the screen, again, very, very simple. All we say is this.refresh. You should try and make sure you only use this dot refresh once on one timer on a Windows form. Otherwise, it can start slowing down your program all over the place. So let's give this a try now. And we hit the play button. And as you can see, our odd shaped ball moves across the screen, just as it should do. Just to make sure that we're getting things set up correctly, I'm now going to reset the location back to 000, set the size back to 202020. So it's a nice, simple ball bouncing down the screen.